Hi, my name is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to transport a piece of a power platform solution to a new environment using, using patching and cloning. So stay tuned. Hey, thanks for joining me today. One of the common questions we get asked as, tra as we're training people how to use power platform solutions is how do I transport a piece of it over? Imagine you have one developer who's ready to go, has his, his piece or her piece ready to go, and the other developer team may not be quite ready, and this is an urgent change that he or she wants to deploy to QA and production. Well, that's where patching comes in. What we're going to show you today is how to take a piece of a solution and transport it from environment to environment to environment. So if you're curious about how solutions work and how do you migrate a solution uh, from Power Platform to an environment to environment, look in the description of this video and I show you much more about solutions in that video. But this is just a more specialty topic around transporting just the piece. So to start with, I've got a environment that looks like this. It's my production environment, my quote unquote production environment. And you can see that I've got this, this column here called Company Revenue. Well, uh, an urgent change came up, and I'm going I'm to simulate an urgent change, at least by changing that column name to something else. I've got my test solution over here in my other environment, and that environment's not quite ready to go yet. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my main uh, solution here. This is the one I want to look at. I'll select it. I'll hit that little three dot right here, and you'll see Clone and clone a patch. You can also access it here and a number of other places also. You can actually go inside the solution and if you go over to the overview tab, you'll see it up top here as well. So it's a number, oops, I have a number of spots here. Hit, hit the button too soon there. Uh, and if I clone a patch, it gives you the opportunity to rename it. So I'll call this just a uh, urgent patch, for example. It'll be 1.1, .1, so it's going to increment. It was 1.3.1, so now it's going to go ahead and increment the, the, the major, uh, the minor there as well. And when I hit save, it has now created another patch that I can now use inside of my solution. So uh, now you'll notice it kind of, if I go back over here again, there we go. I can go ahead and make my changes that I need to this guy right now. This other guy that you're seeing is now essentially in lockdown mode because it doesn't, it doesn't want you to choose the two solutions to drift at this point. So my patch, I want to go ahead and include all the items that I want to include in this patch to move over. So if I go over here, you'll see there's nothing inside my patch right now, but it has all the knowledge of the, of the parent uh, solution. So if I go to add existing, let's go ahead and add, oh, what table was that? Let me go make sure I have that table. There we go. That table's called test table one, company revenue column. So I'm going to add an existing table. So add existing and table. I'll look for test table one. Okay, I know it's here. Oh, there it is. Test table one, there it is. And then I'll hit next and I'll include all, I'll, I'll actually uh, include just the, call, the components and table metadata. There we go, and hit add. Now this is gonna add all the information about the metadata for this. And when I go to my test table here, I can then uh, select it, go to my columns here and make a quick change. So I'll go and change my um, uh, company revenue column, I think this is test table one. I'll change it to, com uh, to company revenue there. All right, there it is. Okay. Uh, oh, I know what the problem is. Uh, I need to go over to my form here and I'll just make the change to the form itself. So I'm gonna go into the main form and make it there. So once I do that, I'll go ahead and hit the save, publish, and I'll transport the solution and we'll show you how to bring this all back together after it's all done. So looking over here, I have company revenue. I'll just call this company money, for example. Click outside, save it, and publish it. So I've now just simulated some small change that I want to get to this new environment. So when I publish this, okay, it takes a few seconds to publish. I'll then go out and uh, once this finishes up and transport it. Okay, it's being a little slow today, it looks like. Okay, there we go. And I'll go back to my overview tab and go ahead and export this out. So of course I've already published my change, so I'm good there, and I'm exporting out 1.3.1.2. I'm making it a managed solution, which as we export this out, we'll talk about what that means. 
Uh, managed solution basically means that the recipient of this cannot make any changes to the code. And unmanaged is for, uh, un for, for basically making where the recipient can make any changes they want to to it. So for, un for managed code, it's better for like a production deployment or, or whatever. I mean, it depends on your QA process. Most people want QA process to also be managed as well because they want to simulate as close to production as possible. All right, the download is now complete. So I can hit the download button here. There we go, got my solution coming in. Then let's go over to our other environment where I'll go ahead and go to the overview tab. There we go. Oops, sorry, wrong area. Let me go over here again and hit the import button. When I hit the import button, I'll browse out to my solution patch that I just did. Make sure it's a patch. Yes, it is a patch. I'll hit next. And again, just like the export, the import takes a few minutes also. So we'll go ahead and, and edit this out also, and so you'll, you'll, you'll fast forward this process as well. Okay, we can now see that the solution has been imported. We also see that we have two solutions now essentially having the same thing. It did take about three or four minutes to import this in, in case you're curious. And when I go back here, do a hard refresh, you can hold the control key down, hit the refresh to see the new metadata, and we can now see it says company money now. So, we are now ready to, mer to merge in the other development branch with this patch. So similarly, we'll go back to our original environment here. I'm going to go back to where we were at before. And we're going to go over here and hit clone. And we're going to, we're going to go ahead and clone the solution. Okay. When we do this clone, it's going to bring everything back in. We're on 1.4 now. We'll hit save. And notice what happened here. My patch is no more. It's now brought both of these back together. I can make whatever change I wish now. So I can go inside this, make whatever change I want just to kind of make sure that the, that the new money table is here. So I go test table one, just so we can kind of see that something has happened here. I'll go to my forms, and then I go back to my main form and edit this main, fo uh, edit this main form here. Okay, Oop, there we go. Secondarily, when I deploy this solution, and we'll do that in a moment here, we'll also see the change is going to getting it branched in there as well. So there's my company money. So as I did that clone, it actually recognized the patch and its changes. I'll come, uh, call this moolah now, just for, for giggles here. We'll hit, oh, we'll hit save, and then publish. So for successful here, when we, when, we, when we export this out a, a third time now, or whatever we are now, second time, third time, uh, it's going to have company moolah on it instead of company whatever. But also all the other developers changes will be part of this now as well. So as we do this, we'll go ahead and go back to our main overview tab, export this out, and we'll hit next. And we're on one four, again, we're still managed, and we'll hit export. So this again will take about three to four minutes. So I'll, I'll go ahead and edit this out as well. So I'll see you in a second. All right, through the magic of video editing, we now have our download button now here. So let's go ahead and download that. Again, it was about three minute process looking for 1401. I'll go back to my other environment here. I'll then import that. Now right now you're seeing the two when I browse out and I import and then hit next. We'll see the new items will now get brought in. It's going to upgrade my solution. I'll be on 1.4. Right now I'm on 1.3. If I hit import, it's going to do the delta of the difference. Let me go ahead and kill this old message here. And then if this is successful, we'll see both of these will, will be combined into a single solution. And I'll have company moolah now, not the other one. So let's take a quick, one last time out as we look at that. All right, we're back. I thought about having some Benny Hill music playing in the background while that ran, but I decided against it, so you're lucky. But we now have our single solution now in place. I should be able to go back here, watching the company money. I'll do again do a hard refresh at this point. And we should see that if it's successful, go to company moolah, and it did. So in this video, we showed you how to patch, and during that patch, you make your changes. The other solutions frozen during that time make your emer emergency change, and then you deploy it, and then to bring it back together, you clone it to bring it back together inside your original solution. Then you deploy that again, and the, the patch and all the, the clones will then uh, merge as well. 
You can have multiple patches. So you can patch upon a patch and, and so on, but let's keep it simple for this, this demo here. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. This is a, one of the classes that we typically do at Pragmatic Works. You can find more about that at pragmaticworks.com. We also have one-on-one -on -one, uh, virtual mentoring. We can help you get unstuck from a problem. And we do things like hackathons where you can learn how to, how to build a solution with your own environment also. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you enjoyed this and want to see other videos like this, please do subscribe. Have a great day.